What's going on everyone, Austin John plays here, and today I'm going to be telling you how you can exchange hearts for stamina in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. There was once a creepy statue that was shunned out by the townspeople, forced to live on the outskirts of Vitano Village. Well, they decided to shut it out more, and now it's going to be located here at Lookout Landing. After you speak with uh, Scorpus over here, he's going to be opening up the emergency shelter. And when you first start off the game, this passageway is going to be completely sealed. There is one or two different events that can trigger that. I've gotten mixed reports and haven't been able to test both options. One is after you complete your first of the four parts of regional phenomena, and then that's going to open up. However, there are people who have said that they didn't do regional phenomena and it did open up after they got more hearts. I cannot confirm nor deny this, so exactly at what point it opens is going to be unclear. Coincidentally enough for me, after I finished the Wind Temple, that was my fifth heart. So maybe it's at five hearts that it opens up. Again, cannot confirm nor deny but probably once you reach five hearts and at least one of the parts of regional phenomena done, this is going to open up for you. All you need to do is crouch your way in. And this, the Royal Hidden Passage. From here, we just now need to get rid of a whole bunch of rocks. Yoink. Sense me. I sense you. Hi, guy. Ah, so there is some who still pay me homage. You can talk. You don't say. You can hear my voice? Nah, just know that I'm willing to strike a bargain with anyone who can hear my voice. A dealer in life and power. That was me once, alas. I did say no, I can't hear you, and he keeps going on. My life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still... The goddess did not like what I was doing. For the record, still said I can't hear him. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected, but that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company, and finally here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I've only been biding my time for a moment for when someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. I did say no. I can't hear you. I'm sure we could reach a beneficial agreement. I've dealt only with fish for too long and fish make terrible deals. <laughs> now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still, don't fret. I'll take care of everything, but this won't hurt a bit. He just took a heart. You know, the stuff that the bad guy did at the beginning of the game? Fahaha, ha. my touch is subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. And now you get the side adventure, a deal with a statue. Pray, uh, give it back. Did you think I deceived you? Perish in thought, I hope ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will it be? Well, my stamina is full, so give me a heart. Now then, wise choice remains still. And I got my heart back. Nice. You look skeptical. Not to worry, money and life are as all one to me. If you're ready to bargain, then first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price is 120. So there are a couple of uses for this statue. This game actually has a few requirements for a few different things, such as in order to pull the Master Sword, you're going to need two complete rings of stamina, and then there's going to be a vitality door, much like the one at the beginning of the game that required four hearts, but instead this vitality door is going to require 10 hearts. So, to completely finish the story of the game, at some point you are going to have to have 10 hearts. And whether you haven't cleared enough shrines in order to get 10 hearts, or if you don't want to do the shrines, or if you're trying to do a 3 heart challenge, here, as soon as you land, and as soon as you get access, you can speak to this statue, get rid of that fourth heart that was given to you, and then do your three heart challenge. And then whenever it's necessary, you can just go and get your ten hearts, and then come back to the statue and get rid of those hearts. Of course, if you are doing a three heart run, you probably want to redeem all of your orbs and then sell them off because you're going to be getting 100 rupees per piece although it is pricey to get them back at a loss of 20 rupees per heart container. It's completely up to you if you would like to strike a deal with the devil, if you will. 
on uh, selling off your essences. Here's Robbie's wife, Jaren. I bet you didn't realize it was his wife. She says we can use this as we seem fit. And I already spoke to her and I already spoke to the statue. So I told her all about the statue and everything about the statue. She's going to give you 20 rupees. Cool. That's that's Robbie's allowance. And that's the side adventure who goes there. And now it's complete. Boom. So in the last, what, six minutes, I just helped you clear two of your side adventures. You're all done. Perfect. Well, guys, if you found this quick tip helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.